Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Order of Battle Blitzkrieg, the DLC pack which takes Order of Battle World War II to the European theater and allows you to play as the Germans as you attempt to uh, re replicate the early war conquests of the German Wehrmacht. So far we have taken and invaded Norway, uh, Poland before that, and we've also conquered the Low Countries and now most recently France. However, with that being said, I believe because my French conquests, we didn't accomplish all the secondary objectives. We didn't take Le Havre, uh, for example, in 15 turns. Uh, it took us longer. So we didn't win a decisive victory. As a result, the Battle of Britain occurs historically and prevents the German invasion of England in 1941. Or sorry, 1940. Uh, with that being said here, we are shifting east. And the next battle that we're about to fight is the battle for Yugoslavia. Germany launches its Balkan campaigns to prevent Allied involvement in Yugoslavia and rectify the debacle of the Italian army in Greece. So the invasion of Yugoslavia, it looks like the Italians may play a minor role here with their forces in Albania, uh, but I don't see any indication that we're actually going to fight in Greece in this particular battle that may be a follow-on battle. So if we go ahead and hit the start button here, we'll go ahead and get this battle started uh, as we continue this campaign as uh, Germany in the Blitzkrieg DLC for Order of Battle World War II. I really think it's interesting how Order of Battle has evolved itself. Originally it was basically the Panzer Corps of the Pacific uh, and very unique and different in many ways and now it kind of covers the entire World War II theater. So you can see here we'll move on to the briefing. A recent military coup in Belgrade has negated one diplomatic effort with Yugoslavia to prevent British influence increasing in the Balkans. We now have no choice but to invade the nation. Uh, an additional motivation is to aid our Italian allies in their stalled offensive against Greece. Uh, reinforcing their army in Albania and then breaking the Greek resistance will restore the prestige of Axis forces. So apparently Greece is in this battle. Now, the main objective is to capture the strategically important cities in, the Eastern, East, in Eastern Yugoslavia. Once this has been achieved, a substantial part of the German forces will be redirected to support the invasion of Greece. Because of the military strength, because our military strength is greatly superior to the Yugoslavian forces, OKW anticipates an easy victory. We cannot uh, let the Balkan campaign distract for us for much longer. So basically, uh, you need to win this quickly so you can uh, have an earlier offensive in Russia. I'm guessing you can see obviously the objective is capture Belgrade, capture Nice, capture Skop. Uh, but then we also have to destroy the Belgian uh, command center, capture the Przin before Albania falls, and uh, complete the mission in 25 turns. The 25 turn period, I'm assuming, has implications for your eventual invasion of Russia, which is coming uh, in the very near future. Um, so, capture Przin before Albania falls, complete the mission in 25 turns, Nis, Scope, and Belgrade. Um, return trip. The armored train captured in Poland has finally been repaired and ready for combat. It has been transferred to Bulgaria and awaits new orders near Sofia. Okay, interesting. So we had a secondary objective successful uh, in that we conquered or we took an armored train in Poland and as a result it looks like we're able to use that in this fight. Just trying to see where it can all go. I think we can move it over here. Here. Wait here, closer to the front. We'll kind of roll through uh, Belgian lines, I think. Or looks like so. Uh, not Belgian, good lord. Through Yugoslavian lines. The confusing thing is your Yugoslavian flags look very similar to German ones. Um, where are our objectives here? So in the south, Allies are going to be on the defensive. Here are our objectives. Here's one of them. Here's Nis. Uh, so Nis, Skopki's over here. In prison, we need to take before Belgrade falls to have it as a secondary objective, or before Albania falls. Nis. And where's the northern objective here? Belgrade. Okay. So, if we zoom out, and actually, I wish there was a better way there was a way to view like a strategic map but um anyway so we need to take belgrade here quickly once we take belgrade we can drive south and take nice uh we can also shift some forces uh to prison and take skopki so uh these sort of advance down this main highway almost like you break a force off west to take belgrade while advancing a major force south down these roads directly on nice and scope um, additionally, can we deploy our troops in Belgrade? We can. 
So we can actually advance some forces directly on Skopki, uh, and then perhaps we'd advance them on Nice from Skopki. So attack Skopki in the south first, and then advance on Nice. I'm not really sure where we... It looks like all of our forces have to be deployed in that southern section. So actually, this is weird. We've got to drive west and then north to accomplish our objectives. Hmm. All right. Well, that's an interesting challenge. Let's go ahead and use some of our uh, money to reinforce our troops that had suffered those casualties at the end of the last battle. Get everybody up to full strength. Okay. I'm going to spend a fair bit of money doing that. I also don't know if we're allowed to deploy our entire force or not. Some of our troops suffered pretty heavily. Some of them less so. The armor in particular. We got a four-star tank here in this Panzer IV. I'm so fucking full. Awesome. All right, our artillery. These guys are rookies. They're... They have no stars. Both of them. Our BF-109, we did lose. Actually, we lost one BF-109. Got a whole bunch of Stukas, but we don't have a lot of uh, fighter cover for them. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a second fighter. Make it a BF-109F, which is actually more advanced than the E. Purchase that. Good look at upgrading this guy to the F. That'll cost us 42. And you can see here that pretty much uses up all of our experience. There's also destroyed units that we could revive if we wanted to bring them back. Actually, this might have been smarter to do that than to buy a new BF-109. Can I return one of these? Oh. Oh, those are all alive units. Um, display, deploy, display reserve units. Okay. So can I... doesn't look like I can sell these guys. All right. So we'll go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get our troops deployed. I'm going to get our armor deployed kind of near the front. This terrain isn't ideal for armor, but sort of my initial objective, since everybody's kind of going to be deployed here in this western area, as far as I can tell, I could deploy some air units in the north, apparently, but not ground units. So uh, our ground units all have to be deployed in this sort of southern Belgrade area. So I'm going to deploy my troops here. We're going to drive west directly on Skopje. We'll have a detachment go to prison to break the offensive against the Italians. And then we'll just drive north on the road. We'll take Nice and we'll drive on Belgrade. Kind of in a weird pincer movement, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can deploy troops anywhere else. It is weird. I don't know if we can deploy anyone in it. the Italian zone. Doesn't look like it. That also does mean since Greece does have a, a, a unit down here, but I'm wondering if uh, if we're going to be somewhat challenged by an attack on our flanks, so we may have to leave some troops behind as well. Let's see. This train a bit further back. Or can we get armor here? Yes, we can. All right, so we're going to put both of our tank units up front. Um, we'll go ahead and put some engineers over here. Heavy infantry as well. Trying to get them all on this side of the river. Actually, I can use this road to advance as well. That might actually be correct. Huh. All right, so we'll get some artillery in place. Whoops. And we actually aren't going to be able to deploy our whole force by the looks of it. So we'll have to keep some troops in reserve. Uh, additionally, our air power, I think we can largely bring our air force. Now, I am going to deploy uh, one of our fighter units up here in the north. I'm curious if the false jumpers can be deployed anywhere else. Like, let's, see, let's see here. Let's pull this one heavy infantry off. Put the these guys down somewhere. Airfield. There's got to be an airfield in the south. Doesn't look like it, though. So, I would love to be able to deploy these guys... As paratroopers, but it doesn't look like that's an option. So if we can't deploy them as paratroopers, there's really no point using that force. We'll go with these heavy infantry. Actually, let's We've got two engineer units, which I think is fine. Pull the regular 41 infantry. No, we can't. Those. Got one heavy infantry, two engineer units. Let's actually pull one of the engineer units back, replace him with a heavy infantry.
Hat. Move them. But I can't deploy another... Not enough command points? I only have four. Huh. Oh, the false jumper. So I'll go with a 1940 infantry unit then, I guess. A little bit better at combat. All right, and let's go ahead and get, get our air forces deployed. So we're going to deploy one fighter down here. Actually, let's just... I guess we're going to... I don't know if I want to deploy my whole fighter force in the north with these DOs. I, like, I'm worried the enemy might have some interceptors. So we will deploy one fighter in the south. Put both of them down there. Airfield. Hmm. Sorry about all the kind of hemming and hawing. I'm trying to figure out better off with the false put them into an air unit I'm thinking and to drop them behind enemy lines alright so we've got one fighter on the south confused though so I've We've got two BF 109s. We'll take. this guy in the north which I think will will keep him up here um, I don't I like I prefer to kind of concentrate my fighters because when you when you constant can we actually pull these guys off or they, no. because when you concentrate your force your fighters you can more easily destroy enemy fighters the way this game works is you very rarely are going to actually be able to completely destroy an enemy air unit with uh, with a single fighter so I prefer where possible to consolidate your fighter forces. And actually because of that, I'm going to go ahead and move this guy. I was deploying him in the north to provide an escort for those strategic bombers, which we start off with there in the north. But I'd rather actually pull him back and put him with my other, my other air units here. Let's go ahead and get our recon aircraft up here. See what we can spot. Venus and Skokie doesn't look like much. Now I'm kind of worried there may be a bunk. Yeah, there is a bunker here. So what we're first going to do is we're going to go ahead and, you know, we're going to use our artillery to bombard this thing. We're going to go ahead and use our uh, tactical air to blow the crap out of it. Maybe, just maybe, we can even destroy it. We've got three Stukas. So we'll see if we can destroy it without uh, having to actually fight it, which apparently does not appear to be the case. Um... I don't want to move my armored train there quite by itself, so let's do this. Um, the armored train apparently it looks more like will be more useful as like an artillery unit. All right, do this. All right, so we're not actually going to defeat the thing in our first day. It's going to hold us up at least one day. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. The train around here kind of sucks. And bombard it with my train. See if that makes any difference. I doubt it. 
and this way. Additionally, we already used that artillery, so that does hold us up a day. We used most of our forces there. Let's see if the enemy has anything in it around Alisk. Like they do. Or maybe we're just bombing supply, which I actually I think is what we're doing. Now, I don't know if the enemy can launch attacks like into Belgrade or into into you know these other areas in the map which we don't control. I guess we'll find out. I didn't actually issue any orders to the Italians, which I don't think I can. It doesn't look like anything happened that turn. Oh, by the way, I need to assign my air commander to a unit. Assign him to the really good Stuka. Oh, he's already got a hero. Um, we'll give it to the other good Stuka. So my, my air units, my air heroes, if you will, are both of... Nice. Oh, shit. Ah. So our artillery finished off the enemy bunker there, which is good. So now we can kind of close in with the enemy here. Let's see. That way. Trying to move through the passes a little on, on more of a broad front. So we can... easily get at the at the enemy here. And it can go there. That. Or the other thing though is by doing this I may be blunting my attack a bit. May not be the best approach. Alright, so we'll go ahead and bombard the airport. Looks like the enemy has a hangar there. I don't know if there's actual any strength behind it. This guy will get onto the roadway. Armor. And then we'll strafe them. Because we'll go ahead and hopefully finish off this. Even if we did. Finished off that. Some of our artillery started moving forward, some of it did not. Um, go ahead and try and bomb bunkers in and around Belgrade with the bombers up here in the north. I don't intend to attack that infantry with one lone unit, just like I don't intend to attack that infantry directly. So we'll go ahead and end one more turn. We'll see how quickly we can get moving. We've got a total of 30 turns here to fight. See the enemy is counterattacking the Italians in Albania. And that's about it. So this is, this is different in that in previous turns it felt like you were just being overwhelmed immediately by the enemy. Now that's less the case. It's a little bit of a slow burn, feels like. All right, so we'll go ahead and bombard these guys. Go over here. Move our armor forward. Drive that in from the back. And scope key here. Alright, so this Stuka will finish off that enemy infantry unit. And then our train work a bit there. And I'll use my Stukas on this thing. It's not much of a threat, theoretically, because it is just a bunker on our we can't move. A nuisance. It I, I want to reduce it so we can keep using our armored train. Destroyed one enemy infantry unit. That's kind of in our way. And also by driving north here a little bit, I am starting to clear the way toward Nice. Radically. 
But by attacking this infantry unit, we may be sort of softening our, our drive north a little bit. Unless we lose heavy casualties, again, the, the counter is you're blunting your, your attack on Skopki. Ow. False jump. Alright, so this guy's moving south, mainly to secure our flank down there. Alright, it's a recon. The enemy does have some Skoda anti-aircraft guns up there. Let's see here, we're gonna bombard Belgrade. We're gonna lose actually pretty heavily. They've got a lot of troops around here. Any aircraft and all that jazz. It'd be easier to attack from the north, which I wonder if maybe those allies will come in for that. I'll actually use these guys as kind of a recon to advance south here. Belgrade does look like it's going to be a tough nut to crack. Let's see here. Enemy infantry maybe trying to cut us off, moving into the mountains over there. That bomber may be dead, if not very close. Meanwhile... Yugoslavian artillery continues to attack this bunker on the corner of Albania, but so far there's not really been any drive against the Italians yet. This infantry is going to move. We will continue to bombard the bunker. Um, Yuga will bomb it as well. Also fly our Yukas up north a little bit. To weaken that anti-tank gun. Or you can go after Bunker. Artillery will move forward toward the advance. Engineers will finish off the Bunker. And there you have it. We took the town. just took this area and then I'm going to advance on this Greek town as well to sort of make sure that our flank is secure. Advance on the enemy anti-tank guns here. Drive them back with relative ease. Um, nine, can we finish off this Anti-tank gun with strafing, it doesn't look like it. Our armor apparently cannot, if the enemy moves their infantry into that uh, mountain, our armor cannot apparently support it. Drive south to link up, because I assume they'll move down here to try and cut us off, which I'm sure they'll do. But uh, we'll link up with this other part of our line, and then we'll start driving north on Luskovic. Uh, there does appear to be some enemy air. I'm assuming it's a fighter unit. That guy's going to south. This guy will also move south. At least one enemy air unit that we've finally detected, and that'll do it for turn number four. We'll probably break this episode into a couple of pieces. We're approaching about 30 minutes in on this fight, so we'll probably end that in, mo in a moment. See, they did move forward to cut us off. The yeah, Yugoslavians appear to be finally assaulting Albania here. They're moving in on that bunker. I don't know how many units they have there. Enemy fighter unit. Trying to attack and finish off our bombers there. Not quite. And we're starting the fifth turn. These guys are out of supply, so we'll drive our armor south here to relink up with our forces. And we'll continue attacking. We should have actually bombarded them first. The Yugoslavian infantry there. Soften those guys up. Um, take that airfield. Attack this anti-tank gun here. Finish it off. Drive north here. Threaten that anti-aircraft. Move our infantry forward. They can try and counterattack us if they want. Start moving north. 
287. Since I don't want to lose casualties to enemy anti-aircraft, I'm actually going to fly the north here and bomb that enemy. Hmm. Actually, destroy it. There you go. Over. Okay. This is one of our fighter units, which will move north here to provide some escort in case the enemy does show up. And hoping, maybe next turn, we can... Uh, Take this town of Niche. So far, so good. Um, our recon aircraft to move this way. Figure out what the enemy has between us and this town which we're supposed to take, which I assume will halt the offensive on the Italians. That's what that secondary objective. This guy will fly down here. I'll fly over Niche and see what they have. Oh, Nish itself has held pretty well, too. Um, do we want to start attacking these guys to kind of start softening things up, or do we want to wait? Probably won't get that many more troops in place next turn. I think we'll wait one more turn. So we'll go ahead and end turn number five, and then we'll have one more turn before we wrap this episode up. Enemy interceptors can continue to pursue that bomber unit. Not part of the core force. I don't think we can carry it over, so I'm okay if we lose it. It at least identifies where an enemy fighter is up there. Apparently there's some supporting artillery in range of uh, this town here in the south. And I'm assuming the attack will intensify on the Italians. I'm guessing it's more than just one infantry unit that's going to attack them. But they did reduce that bunker and they're going to take Schroeder. And uh, they'll start advancing into Albania by the looks of it. Go ahead and bombard the enemy here. Doesn't look like... Question is, what do I want to? This artillery can reach. But... Okay. All right, so we took the town, drove them back. a bit of a corridor north. Go ahead and move this artillery over here so it can port against the anti-aircraft gun next turn. And uh, alright, that Greek town is empty. I don't know if they have any troops here in the south or not. I'm kind of taking a risk that they if they do by putting my troops into vehicles. I don't want to attack this enemy in 75mm. It looks like we can do so successfully. Even though it's an anti-aircraft gun, it looks like maybe it's only an... If there, if there is such a thing, it's an offensive anti-aircraft gun. It only shoots at you between turns. Or maybe that's just artillery. I'm not really sure. I assumed it was anti-aircraft. Especially by the look of it. It looks like it's pointed up. But... Alas. Sure to be doing anything. Doesn't look like they have anything down here. We have some bunkers in the way. I've got a decent amount of intelligence now on the drive north to Nis. And I, I lied. We'll play one more turn before we end this episode. Enemy infantry retreats and reinforces. Static. It's interesting because in the French camp, came out guns blazing, counterattacking everywhere. And uh, so far, the lines against me have been pretty passive. They are attempting to reduce the Italian forces in uh, U Albania here. And you can see another infantry unit just appeared to be attacking. So they took Shkoder, and now they've got another infantry unit attacking this bunker over here. They've got some artillery and some mounted troops that are coming in to support. I'm wondering if, if when I take this town bordering Albania, if I'm able to uh, sort of get the Italian forces to be under my control or not. So I'll have the tank bombard these guns. They didn't, they, these guns didn't shoot at me. Well, assuming I guess they're not. Uh, they're 
I guess they're not any aircraft guns. Fighter unit up there. Let's see, can our... Damn, we've got to go land. So at least we took that airfield. It's a little bit closer to the front. We've got to land our fighters here. They're low on fuel, or at least that one is. This one is as well. So we'll go ahead and land both of them. They're kind of out of commission for a couple of turns now. All right. Successfully drove that infantry back. I took my infantry down here out of the... Oh, shit. Got my infantry ambushed by a machine gun bunker. There's literally... I'm just wasting time going down there. If it's just a bunker, there's no reason to do that. I just took two of my units, which I don't really have a ton of units in the first place, out of this fight. Alright, let's finish this. Our Stuka. They're dead. Other Stukas. After these enemy artillery pieces here. I already moved, I guess. Both of these anti, both of these artillery pieces, west a bit, so they can actually support either advance and either direct. Move our infantry forward here a bit. Also reinforce them. I'm going to have these guys go up against this bunker in the north. Move our armor over here. Of course. I haven't really been using any of my points so far because I haven't been losing casualties, so I can reinforce most of these guys deeply. And our recon apparently didn't pick up on that one bunker. Maybe I never got it close enough to see. I bomb the uh, enemy guns there. It'll provide a little bit of use. And we're about 33 minutes in. I lied. We'll go ahead and play one more turn before we end this video. So enemy attack air is going to try and stir not attack air. Enemy fighters are going to strafe our infantry there that are approaching that bunker south of Nish. Uh, cavalry retreated. So did that anti, or so did that artillery piece. And uh, their other artillery continues to bombard and uh, support the attack on. Albania, the other Italian bunker here in the north, was destroyed, so now they can move further south to threaten the actual uh, army units here of the Italian force. And then another enemy fighter unit just showed up to attack our bombers. Fortunately, both of our fighters are now going to be completely refueled. They can take off, and they should be in action next turn. Go ahead and our bombers here. Just destroyed that enemy artillery piece. Go ahead and use our other Stukas over here against this enemy armor, because again, we do want to take present. God damn it, there's infantry there. Just drove myself into an ambush. Interesting. Apparently, do anything. I guess our armor is a little bit disheveled, if you will. Our attacks apparently are not predicted to do anything of any good. Take one more turn. I am playing a little bit cautious, I think. attack, but we're going to wait till the infantry's ready. Enforce that infantry to full strength before we launch them. We'll pull these guys back. There's no reason, again, to get them in a tough situation with, uh, given the fact that all they are is, you know, they're infantry. There's no reason to get them shot up by a bunker that can't move. 
All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Order of Battle Pacific. We've begun the attack on Yugoslavia and Greece, and we've met with quite a bit of success, although it feels like we've kind of diverted or, or diffused our attack. We're kind of attacking in the north, in the center, and in the south. I've, I've sort of split my forces up in a way that I don't think is terribly wise. Nonetheless, uh, things are going reasonably well. Uh, the enemy is largely passive, which should make this battle a little bit easier. Uh, we are, what, eight turns into this? game, but we'll see uh, how things uh, continue in the Battle of Yugoslavia in our next video. Until then, though, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.